Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Yeah, you missed the pour, but we're doing Eboom by Williams Brothers from Scotland. This is a elderberry black ale. It's uh, it's been brewed with natural fruit flavors. I want to give a shout out to two people, James from Godar Radio Moscow. Check him out on YouTube and Facebook, and Danny from So Fucking Drunk. Do the same. Excellent Scottish reviewers. Definitely check them out. And uh, this uh, elderberry black ale was a festival, an autumn festival, a Celtic autumn festival beer that was passed around to the village. It was brought over to, to um, Scotland by Welsh Druids in the 9th century. Elderberry was the uh, first part of the Celtic autumn festivals where the air was passed through the people of the fellows, like I said. The recipe was taken from a 16th century record of domestic drinking in the Scottish Highlands. In the medieval times, elderberries were used for many purposes and are known to be high in fruit oils. It is a rich black ale. And, so that's the information, and it is a rich black ale. There you go, a little carbonation coming out of the glass, you can hear it. Uh, we can see through it, nice amber color. Let's get into it. We've definitely got a lot of roasted malts, a little bit of chocolate. Hmm, that's interesting. Ooh, almost a little bit of a cherry out of this. Definitely got a, a little bit of a rich, rich fruit kind of base. Little, reminds me a little bit of, between a raisin and a cherry. Let's uh, let's get into it. Cheers. There's some subtle sweet fruits in there, definitely. Everything at first is, is right behind a big wave of roasted dark malts. But it finishes clean. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of that dark roasted malts kind of walking around. No real coffee or chocolate. It's more of that just really, really roasted malt. The sweetness is pretty good. It's, it's kind of a, a weird fruity sweetness. I mean, the, the elderberries definitely stand out. I've used elderberries in a couple of my brews already. Uh, the smell, you're getting a little bit of that between cherry and, ra and raisin. Kind of a mixture. The elderberries are actually pretty nice in this. Slightly earthy, but no real hot presence going on. Let's see if there's anything else on here. Let's see. De -de 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 -de. This black ale with fruit aroma, soft texture, roasted grain, and white red wine flavor is a gentle with a gentle finish. De -de 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 -de. There are hops in this and bog myrtle, but of course I don't know what bog myrtle tastes like. I'm getting a little earth tone, but nothing really that says hops. Not really bitter, it's just really nice. It's your, the bitterness you're getting is some is the bitterness to be expected from really roasted grains. Yeah, it just has a little bit of um, an earth tone mixed with that subtle berry. It's a nice subtle fruit flavor. Definitely something that's easy to drink. 6.5 alcohol by volume. Wow. I did not expect that one. I kind of expected it to say like 3.5 or some 4 or something very small. But this one is dangerous because I didn't know it was 6.5. This is higher than most um, IPAs I drink. but does not taste like it. It's really soft, subtle, and smooth. Carbonation is pretty good onto it. It's got a little bit of a thinner mouthfeel. It's not very, it's not bad. It's not very bad at all. It's not very bad. But uh, the Eboom from Williams Brothers, it's definitely an ale. If you like your darker ales, definitely go for this one because it's got a lot of that rich, nice roasted characteristic that you'll appreciate. 
It's probably the most toned down of the ales that I've had so far. So I'm going to give this one, I'm probably going to give this one uh, like a 7.5. I'm going to give this one a 7.5. It's good, it's just not redefining anything. That little subtle sweet uh, taste is really nice. If it wasn't in there though, it would be lower. It'd probably be about a 6. Because it really isn't doing anything amazing to it. But the way it's brewed and the elderberries do kick it up quite a bit to a 7.5. It's been a fall for PA Fruit News. Cheers. Ugh.